What is hyperthreading? Hyperthreading is the biggest difference between the Core i5 processors and the i7 processors from Intel. But a lot of people don't know what hyperthreading is, and it was a feature that was on processors even before the i5 and the i7. The way I like to think of hyperthreading is the ability to use the, all of the functions of a processor at the same time. We often think of processors in terms of the number of cores they have, but there's sub-cores and the sub-instruction sets in processors that allow it to do multiple things at the same time based on the types of requests that it's being asked to make. Think of it like being able to do something with your right hand and your left hand at the same time. Without hyperthreading, you can only pat your head if with hyperthreading, you can rub your belly and pat your head. You can't mix certain types of processes. Like, I can't play piano and rub my and pat my head because I need both of those resources. But because of slicing, which is the ability to break processes up or the queue of processes up into different things, hyperthreading can give you a lot of extra power basically for free. If you've got something like antivirus running in the background, most of what it's doing is comparing spots on the hard drive against a library of known bad things. That's not very computationally intense, but it's hard drive intense. So what happens is it says use some I.O., but don't use the CPU because I'm playing this game. And so basically the reads from the hard drive happen when the game has spare cycles for whatever reason and can be stacked so that you're better optimized and using more of the processor that you have. 